What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Walking Blind Podcast. This is episode 70 of the show where we like to normalize checking in on the homies. I'm Mike, and this is... And this... Here you go. And this is also Mike. <laughs> Bad joke, I know, but check it out. Uh, our schedules are a little crazy right now, but we are going to still bring you guys episodes. Now, if you guys are tuning in on the day that this episode drops, tonight is actually the 10 year anniversary show for cycles over at chain in Anaheim. So Mike and the other uh, dudes in no bragging rights are going to be ripping it up tonight. If you happen to catch this in the morning, fucking come kick it with us at chain. It's going to be fun. If you happen to live in the Vegas area or you want to party in Vegas on Saturday night, tomorrow, uh, you know, April 8th, come out to Vegas. There's another 10 year uh, cycle show out in Vegas. So that is going to be sick as well. Uh, following that, the boys are going to be hitting the road. They're going to be on tour. They're going international um, over in Australia. And that being said, this week's episode, we got to sit down with our boy Damien. He is the frontman and vocalist for the band Proposal, who is also going to be on the road with the No Bragging Rights boys. <clears throat> Make sure you check this episode out. We got to chop it up with him, shoot the shit a little bit, um, you know, compare some differences between the States and, uh, and Australia. We talk fast food. We talk all, you know, a, a bunch of, a bunch of shit, but make sure you guys check that out. Um, make sure you guys like, follow and subscribe. Tell your friends about us at walking blind pod everywhere. We love you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Check it out. Walking blind is hosted by overly emotional dudes overthink and overanalyze everything. Nothing the host say should be taken as medical advice or opinion. They're not professional. They're about to make that very clear. Yeah, easy done. Um, I am Damien from Proposal. Uh, I am the vocalist. I just yell at people, really. Yeah. I try and sing a little bit, but it's not good. <laughs> Um, yeah, right that's on. pretty much it from Sick, Wollongong, man. Australia. Huh. I was, I was going to eventually get down to ask who, who sings in the band. Cause I heard, I heard some cleans. Uh, yeah. So I've done the cleans, which so far hasn't been, uh, I don't know much like in the songs, but we're trying to kick it up for the next sort of stuff. Cool. Nice. So I got, I got my work cut out for me. I right don't <laughs> I'm a, I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of the cleans. You you prefer the cleans. <laughs> I to, prefer to the, the cleans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I, I think I think a nice balance is is good for it. Uh, we have a couple of bands in Australia making fun of it right now. Really? But they're good friends, so it's all right. <laughs> uh, what what bands are these? Blast them! Blast them! <laughs> yeah, we'll fucking sedative. They're from Perth, though, so don't worry. We'll oh. be going there. <laughs> Dude, I've never been to Perth, man. I mean, it gets it's like literally opposite end, right, of the continent. It's like a yeah, yeah. So literally the opposite of the country from where we are. Oh, word. Um, I've never been either because it's expensive to get there as well. Mm. That made we me feel good, man. It. I appreciate you sharing that with us because <laughs> that's I, all right. Yeah, because it's one of those things where, like, I you know we we've, we've been there once before, and then people were like, "Oh, how's Perth?" I'm like. <laughs> like, I hear it's beautiful. Yeah. Couldn't tell you. I hear it. Yeah, rolls. that's it. Do you do you feel like the the uh, as far as the, the scene out there in Australia goes? Do you feel like everybody's leaning heavier towards just like the beefy, heavy screaming and and less clean melodic stuff, or, or how do you feel it's, it's going? tough Because we have like two different sides. Is like, and then a third side popping up recently with speed. Oh, I yeah. think they're starting to push uh, like your traditional hardcore a lot more, and they're awesome dudes. Yeah. I actually got to see them in Singapore. Oh, um, sick! Yeah, so that was cool. But we've got like one side that's just trying to push disgustingly heavy, like obnoxious, sort of just beat down, punch your friends sort of music, and then nice. you've got like another side that's doing more. Uh, how would you put it? More like death tonesy influenced like more i guess mainstream sort of stuff but mm -hmm. it's all cool like everyone's doing their thing with it australia is sort of branching out which is cool and and the shows out there do you feel like everybody like everybody that comes to these shows just fuck with everything or is is it kind of nah. divided or... <laughs> i wish it was like that but <laughs> it's uh i i feel like it'd be the same as everywhere else really like 
people are going to have their their one sort of thing that they enjoy heaps and you will get like the dudes that are into like as metalcore is weird over here man it's starting mm-hmm. to go like i think metalcore everywhere right now is starting to go a bit mainstream but it's it's cool it's it's getting there like uh when currents and uh silent planet came out i was surprised like every show sold out that was like and there was just people i didn't expect to see at those sort of shows but it was really cool yeah that's right so i something something i've been hearing just uh from random friends out that way i don't know if it's the same yeah actually where, where where are you guys like from exactly so we're from wollongong which is you know an hour south of sydney so oh, okay cool in new south wales yeah um so yeah. one of the things that i kind of kind of been hearing is uh like lockdowns were like pretty intense probably more intense for you guys than they probably were for us at least in southern california mm. at least where we're from um yeah and so once like i feel like once uh once shows kind of got going it was kind of a kind of a slow build but i feel like shows are really picked up out here mm-hmm. I, I heard that out yeah. there for you guys they've gotten like pretty crazy as far as just like like people were just showing up because of how how bad it was as far as lockdowns just to not be home yeah yeah lockdowns i don't know so um we sort of tried pushing shows really early on once the lockdowns um sort of got released and mm-hmm. it sort of backfired for us because we had some really cool shit planned like we were meant to be playing with alpha wolf and we had all these other cool shows like yeah. sorted but every time we went to start doing things one of us would get covered and like the protocol here is if you got covered back then it was like two weeks isolation mm. and then they dropped it to one week and now there's just nothing but uh so i feel like i don't know the uh the way it worked was like when lockdowns opened back up, everyone was going to shows mm. and then it sort of slowed down a little bit. And I think everyone, um, just got used to staying home. Mm. And then like, I think it's opened up a lot more and like now everyone's starting to go to shows again, which is cool. Right. Yeah, man. I, I didn't mind being home. <laughs> <laughs> I hated it. Look, I hated it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It was, Look, it was tough, especially like being a tattooer, like I couldn't work. I had to work on art to make money and stuff like that. It wasn't too bad though. Like our government took care of us, I guess, with uh, like payments and stuff. Like as long as you were doing the right thing and all that kind of shit, they would uh, give you like a weekly payment. So it was all right. Oh, shit. Man. Better than what we got. Yeah. Man. So most yeah. of us survived, which is cool. <clears throat> right on. So for uh, for you being a vocalist, um, what's like your kind of your background in music? Like, is this where like uh, you were in any were you in bands previous to this or? Yeah, I was in a couple of pretty bad bands. Like, they were, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, they were, they were terrible. Um, we it were. was just that early <laughs> on sort of uh, deathcore stuff, and then you know trying to be in a hardcore band. But I mean, I guess trying to do vocals and be in a band since I was like. 15 or 16 covering like you know system of a down and cedar and stuff like that yeah um so it's been a while and so as far as your your band that you're playing in now how long have you guys been been doing this as um as a band um so when we started off it was maybe like i think it was like six years ago but with that lineup we sort of started getting a bit of hype early and then the drummer quit and then one of the other guitarists quit so we just took like a huge hiatus um and it took a while for us to get going but i think this lineup we've been together for like maybe four years now okay. so yeah i feel like this lineup is is the tight one the one that you know everything's cohesive and and is gelling well and we're all on the same page about stuff so i'm pretty excited to see where the future goes Right on. Do you, do you guys have so I've, one, one place I've, I looked for this music wise was Spotify and I found I found an EP mm. and uh, do you guys have a full length mm-hmm. out? No, we're working on our full length right now. We've uh, we've done what like three separate singles, two EPs, and we're just like it's a weird time right now, man. Like the way bands are releasing music, 
So <laughs> we're we're working on a full length right now. Like that's one hundred percent in the works. Uh, but the way we released it is, I think we're going to try and do the more modern way and push like a fair few singles before we drop the the full length because it just seems like the way everyone's going, man. Everyone's got a short attention span now. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it, but, yeah. So it works. It works, man. Like uh, our drummer. Yeah. Our drummer plays in another band called the Smadre, and they like they basically just release singles. Yeah, they like have, whenever they yeah. want. <laughs> it seems like yeah, that's that's it seems like that's what everyone's doing now, and it's working for them. I would Especially love to you get that. on that Spotify algorithm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like it's, uh, it seems like the trend no. now is those uh, the, like you drop a single, you drop a video for the single, mm-hmm. and then ride mm-hmm. that out for a little bit, and then once it starts to die down. Here's another fucking another one. single and another <laughs> video, you know, I, which yeah. I, I love it. I love the idea of it, but <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's really cool. But, uh, we won't like, we feel like we're not going to be taken seriously until we do an album. <laughs> so we just like focus on the full length and our drummer, mm-hmm. like me and our drummer, like we've been like, I don't know what, wanting to drop an album for, yeah, since before this band. So it's, it's like. I feel like we just need to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's that a, the sense of accomplishment of like, yo, we just finished the fucking full length. You know, like, yeah. We're, there's we're like done. the magic about it, man. Yeah. You know, like you know, you do one single and you're like, cool, I did a single. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hope everybody likes the next one. That type of shit. Yeah, that's mm. it. Yeah. I f- I I would love to just release singles. <laughs> I would love that, but <laughs> but I know I just we just did an EP. Which was rad and good. I think it was like a nice, uh, like dipping the toe because we were we were on a long hiatus as well. Mm. And uh, it was I think an EP was like the move, to, you know, to get get something out. Yeah. Um, we didn't really know what kind of response it would get and all that stuff. So, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess we're kind of like. I mean, we don't have to do anything, but I think we, I think we're gonna do a full length. And uh, I'm actually mm. as I'm as I'm thinking about it now, uh, I'm looking forward to the full length because. Uh, well, we wrote the EP in like separate parts of the country, basically. Yeah. And uh, oh, okay, yeah. And like a lot of emailing back and forth, which is it was cool, but it's like it's not, it's not the same as like being in the same room and jamming and right away, yeah. right away being like that's sick, or right away being like ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, know. maybe. Uh... Yeah. Hey, could you not do that? <laughs> so. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I talked myself. I went full circle now. I'm, 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 I'm looking you forward can, to the album. Like, yeah. I'm ready now. I'm ready. I want only singles, yeah. and now you're like, no, I want the album. <laughs> yeah, I still want to do singles. That's, yeah. that's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think. I think the move is you have the album, and then you just keep releasing the single. Yeah. Has that been done before, yeah, where think... you just release one like that? You well, basically release the album, but as a single, like eventually. Yeah, I think. I think that's the the way things are like going right now, everyone's releasing like six singles off a 10 track album. Yeah. So, but yeah, we, Hey, I'm not opposed to it, I guess. Whatever's going to work. We, we did, we did four, we did hey, four, four singles off of a seven, seven, seven song EP. That is completely fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. It, it works now. It works. I mean, especially if you come back from hiatus, like, yeah. you know, why not? If it's gonna keep people's attention, then that's it. Like, yeah, it's just the th- way of the world now. I think it was. I think. I think then overall being a good move. It wasn't our move. We mm. our label made some. Mm. Made some. Uh, I don't even know if they were trying to. But they did some pretty cool things. Uh, we had a song. We was. We had. We have a song. Um, our song "Breaking Point." It deals with like, like uh, intimate partner violence and things like that. Yeah, and so yeah. they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna release this." Uh, it'll be the first single we'll release and we'll release it in October. It's like, cool. And I don't think they knew, but it's like, that was like intimate partner violence awareness month or something it was October. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're like, oh yeah, yeah, so, totally. Somebody had to have known. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> yeah. We somebody planned somebody that. Knew. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, so, that's cool. Somebody knew, but. <clears throat> so like, well, so I have just a couple of just random questions for, that I'd like to know for myself. Go for it. So, uh, of of the venues that we're that we're going to, have you played any of these venues or any of these cities? Uh, uh, let me find. I'm, I've played a few of them. Let's let's have a look. This will be up. So funny enough, this will be our first time playing Adelaide because the last two times one of us has had COVID. Like every time we've planned to go there. 
Dang. And one of the bands we're playing with, Tunnel Vision, we've been planning to like have shows together and tours together, but every time something messes up. So Dang. let's find out. Um, I'm pretty sure we've played Workers Club in Melbourne, which is pretty cool. Wow. We we've played Basement. Basement's a great venue in Canberra. Red Rattler is great in Sydney. La La La's that's our hometown venue, which is great too. Sick. I haven't played the Gal or the Back Room though. So okay. There's a couple of new venues for us too, which is cool. Sick. Of of those uh, of those venues that you guys have played, which one was the one that went off? Ooh. <clears throat> Let's and and which ones do you? I, think I really go look, look, <laughs> from the. Uh, I'm gonna go off the last shows we've played there. Mm-hmm. I have to say the basement in Canberra was like one of our favorites. We played a, uh, it was like a cancer vibe fest. It was like basically donations for uh, like charity, mm-hmm. which was a really cool. And we actually like got chucked in the headline spot last minute because one of the bands had to pull out and um man that was like yeah that was such a good show i really enjoyed it and it was for a good cause so you know oh yeah yeah that's dope all around wins yeah i feel yeah. like uh i can't remember i think martin was telling me that the basement there's like a cool tour going through there scowl and someone else mm. let's go oh yeah 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 i think i know who you're talking about they're going it's going through um, before you guys or i mean i hope not <laughs> <laughs> um it's like the night before no i th- actually know what i think it i think it is like before is us. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's find out that yeah. could work out though that, that could build hype for like all oh, that's true huh they see the fl- yeah yeah, yeah they see the flyer you know yeah. <laughs> it's a cool looking flyer it's a, probably dude, one of the coolest what are your flyers. thoughts on the flyer man i i dig it Yo, I love the flyer. Hey? <laughs> I was like, I saw that, like, I saw it, and I was like, oh man, like that's a really cool flyer. Yeah. Are we getting shirts? I want shirts with it, <laughs> dude. Dude, that'd be a sick tour shirt. <clears throat> Bob, yeah, I'm that. gonna hit Brendan up and be like, yo, tour shirts. Sorry, man. <laughs> dude, I if you if you make one, Lanyards, I will buy no. one. <laughs> I saw your uh, your Australia tour merch, the VR tour merch. It's so hard, <laughs> it's so ridiculous, dude. It's so hard. <laughs> So, Martin was like, check this out. Canberra, the basement on <laughs> May 28th. Uh, it's a little bit after. Uh, that's the Speed Show, yeah, with Tsunami. Oh, that, oh dude, yeah, that makes speed, sense. Speed, Tsunami, damn. Scowl 2, Scowl's been killing yeah, it. <clears throat> yeah. It's, uh, that show is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> Just anywhere in the country, that's going to be wild. <laughs> yeah. So, it, so okay, so it's kind of kind of hard not to, you know, be in the scene and not talk about Speed. Is that something you guys saw? You guys saw coming? Is that something like uh, like being in Australia? You guys were like, dude, these guys are gonna blow up, or was it just kind of like, no nah, man, just came out. Well, it was tough because like you see them drop uh, like the first video, and you're like, all right, this they're doing things right. Mm-hmm, but yeah. then to see like the level that it hit was just. Re- I was talking to Jeremy about this in um, in Singapore, and I was like, man, you guys are crushing it. And he was just like, man, we did this as a joke. Like, he's like, this was meant to be the fun band that we we just, you know, having fun with. Because they've been in the music industry for, like, 15 years, Damn. probably more as well. So they're like, yeah, they were just like, yeah, man, this is meant to be fun. And now look at it. And they're, like, literally taking over the world, which is crazy. That's usually how it goes, though. Like, you get the fun little side project that you kind of oh, don't sure. really care about. <laughs> so. And then it blows up. Yeah. yeah. We got some. Yeah, of our, I'm so happy for him. That's right. We we got some of our best offers when we were kind of like not even trying to be like, like playing hard to get. We we literally couldn't do anything. Like we and yeah. we were just yeah. in such a weird place. So we get these cool offers. It's like, where was this? And we were <laughs> freaking like killing ourselves. Like, yeah, yeah. It's uh, always the way, man. Always. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and we've missed out on so many good offers as well when we couldn't do it, which yeah. sucks. But that's life. Hey, but if you if you hang out if you hang around long enough, I feel like they'll always they'll come back. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's what we're waiting on. But I mean, uh, Martin actually gave us a good um, support slot for Evergreen Terrace, which was sick. Sick. So um, yeah, that was dope playing with those boys. They like they loved us, which was like crazy to me because I've been listening to Evergreen Terrace since I was like 
like legit 13 so it's like Dude, yeah. when they were like yo you guys have been one of the best bands we've played with on tour and not just this tour i was like don't tell me that because you're gonna make my head huge <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that rules yeah that's yeah awesome no it was really cool Craig was like, I, dude, I needed to stop work to come watch you guys. I was like, whoa. Dude. And I was like, well, you influenced it, bro. So, yeah. yeah. That we, was really cool. Our, our small, our little Evergreen Terror story is uh, one of the years that we were, like, basically just promoting for at Warped Tour. Like, we weren't even playing. We were just promoting. Yeah. Um, mostly, like our, like, our own band, obviously. But, like, uh, when we found out Evergreen Terrace was on that year, we would, like in our with our own little flyer that we were putting up we'd find out there's set times and then we would write like hey evergreen terrace is playing at like <laughs> you know 2 30 whatever Hell and yeah. i never met the i hadn't met them in person i just liked the, i just we were fans of their band and so we were just doing yeah. this one day and uh this is when josh was still in the band and he like saw <laughs> us doing it and he's like he's like yo who are you guys he's like yes you, you guys have been putting up our, our set times and stuff and we're like oh shit yeah he's like dude why and we're like because you guys are like one of like five bands on this entire tour that matter. Like, you know, we're like, we just wanted, <laughs> yeah. we just wanted to, you know, we think you guys are rad. We just want to promote you guys. And he's just like, mm. dude, he's like, that's so rad. So he ended up like helping us out and stuff. And that was like yeah, our, yeah. our random little. That's awesome. Yeah. So they're, they were, uh, they were nice to us. But we just, we just wanted mm. people to hear them. It's Warped Tour. Yeah, There's sure. like 90, 90 shitty bands and like five cool ones. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Look, we we I think we got walked to a, like once or twice, and I was hearing stories about the first one, and it was like, because weird story, but I was working for the guy that uh, sort of did security and staging for a lot of the uh, like big events and the festivals, mm -hmm. but he was telling me about the first walk tour, and he was like, "Bro, it was just chaos. That was like that you just couldn't control the bands, and it was just wild." But that was like. <laughs> original walk tour days Dang. um and i think they tried to bring it back uh not too long ago but it just i don't know it's never really taken off in australia it's an insane it's an insane concept <laughs> like especially you yeah. know i would imagine i imagine pretty gnarly out there too as far as the drives but like mm. because of how many bands and it's it's like it's daily so like they purposely mm. they purposely like make the drives like the dates long in between so that there's not a whole lot of overlap. Yeah. Yeah. And uh if you're in a bus, like it's fucking sick. Oh, you know? Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you dude. <laughs> dude. I've man. It's, yeah, I was just about to say, I was like, my I my my only buses experiences are in Europe. I've never yeah. I've never had I've mm. toured I've toured our own country so an insane times, amount of times, and it's all been in a van <clears throat> that we've driven. <laughs> yeah, but, that's um, crazy. Yeah. For what it's worth, that was like my one time in a bus, and it wasn't even my band. I was just, I was just on tour. <laughs> it was still sick. I was, uh, I was working for Atticus at the time. It was 2010 Warped Tour. Holy shit! Um, I haven't heard that brand name in a while. Yeah, time. yeah, right. <laughs> um, and this was like Atticus's weird phase where it was like attic is black so everything was like death metal and like a fucking heavy band which was cool for me you know yeah. like i, I, I yeah. liked it but um so there were three of us that were working uh for atticus and i got added on last right so they were like hey since we're adding you on last like sorry dude like you're not going to be on a production bus we're going to put you with another band <laughs> uh you're not going to have catering but we're going to give you a per diem every day and like they're saying all this shit like it's a fucking bummer and in my head i'm like this sounds kind of sick like I'm, uh, who and then so like they they basically my first day on warp tour i didn't know who i was going to be on a bus with first day on warp tour they're like well here's the bus you're touring with uh these are the dudes in white chapel and i'm like oh fuck, fuck. Yeah. what's up dudes <laughs> so i just basically spent the summer with the white chapel dudes um fucking great guys but my my per diem half the time like i was like looking at their catering meals and i was like dude catering awesome. warp tour catering is bomb yeah oh really dude it's so good Man, I, yeah if and, you told me that i wouldn't I, I just wouldn't expect it at all i don't know why but like you said warp tour catering i'd be like that sounds terrible to me but dude there were there were like steak thought, nights there'd be nights where they'd give you whoa. steak 
Um, those were the <laughs> nights when I was kind of bummed out that I wasn't on the catering yeah. list. But you know, here's twenty dollars a day, and I just all right, cool. You know, <laughs> Dude, we when we finally got to be on it, and then we got catering. Like it was so hard to try to not look like a like you were like a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> like trying to look normal trying to eat like a normal ration you know yeah <laughs> like not going back for like sex with their like, oh man but yeah work to her work to yeah and then they were it was like you know super accommodating for like all kinds of you know uh dietary stuff right a lot of vegan stuff vegetarian Ooh. stuff too um, um yeah <laughs> uh, that's, i was about to say that's a good segue for my next questions uh are you uh <laughs> I'll just I'll just say this. Um, are there any food spots that we need to hit up when we're out there? Um, look, there's a couple. That, uh, what sort of food are you guys uh, after? Anything, like anything. We eat hmm. everything. I know some good Japanese spots in Sydney and Melbourne, so Sick. we should be right there. Um, as far as I know, Adelaide doesn't have much but i could be completely wrong brisbane's got quite a bit so we should be right um i think it's just going to vary city to city but wollongong i'll take you guys to a good ramen spot if you want okay yeah done oh yeah, yeah. yeah. um it, yeah it's gonna it's gonna be fun because there's like i said we haven't played ballarat or adelaide before which i'm pretty keen for um outside of a like I think Adelaide's their hometown, so it should be pretty sweet. Oh, sick! Mm. Do you, do you uh, have you met any of those dudes, or have you played with those guys? Or no, uh, we've chatted like briefly uh, through Instagram and stuff, but we've never met before. So, um, should be pretty fun. I think it's going to be a good tour. Oh yeah, and then you say you knew the guys. You said Tunnel Vision was a band that you've you kind of uh, knew already. Yeah. So. I think with about half the support bands, we're already good friends with and stuff. So um, they're all like, most of the bands on the tour are pretty sweet. Like, uh, and then half the bands I've I haven't met before. So like, I'm always up for new friends, which is cool. I kind of I kind of like the idea of going into a tour and like not really knowing anybody because you get Mm. to kind of develop those like. Yeah. friendships when you go out and you're like oh three of us have known each other forever and then we're yeah that's two it. other bands yeah. it's always kind of like feels a little clicky at first and then <laughs> yeah. things yeah, start to pick up 100 it definitely can get clicky but yeah, yeah i think this is going to be dope because man we've made some of our like close friends now just by randomly playing a run of shows with them and stuff so i'm i'm pretty excited actually some of the boys in melbourne some heard trouble they're like uh i don't know how to explain them but they're they're sick they're good dudes as well like really good dudes and now because we've played like a fair few shows with them now um we have really good friends with them which i don't know it just sort of came out of nowhere we just met them and hit it off and that rules. we just um because we've got this whole attitude we just want to have fun and play shows and the bands that sort of align with that once we meet and we just have fun like we're pretty much friends for life then <laughs> so I love that dude yeah um kind of back to to you guys' run um based on those dates and like the the different venues you guys are playing do you because since we don't really know or the area do you think is there time in between those shows to do like touristy shit or is it uh does it, is it gonna be like a lot of driving like long long stretches uh, they, look i don't think there's gonna be because we decided the other day as well we're going to get a van and do the same thing so we'll probably be meeting up quite a bit um caravan caravan so, yeah <laughs> in melbourne we should have some time to do some uh touristy stuff which is sweet right. i always love doing touristy stuff in melbourne um and then from like 15th to 18th we can do whatever you guys want because that like that's not even half a day's drive Sick. in between. And then you've got the, the couple of dates there. So depending on whether you guys want to hang out in like Sydney or stay in Melbourne for a bit, that could work. And then the drives in between from the 18th to pretty much the 21st aren't going to be big drives. Um, so you'll have like during the day, I'd say most of the day to do 
basically whatever. The only big drives are going to be Adelaide to Melbourne, which is like eight hours. And then Newcastle to Brisbane is probably going to be the worst one. I think that's about 12 hours. Okay. Well. How is it like, uh, say like a regular tour for you guys? Like what's, what's your average drives over there? Um, so the West Coast is awful. It's the <laughs> fucking worst. It's the worst. Yeah. It's the worst. Um, I've been told that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, just like depending, like for, for instance, like we're, we're from Southern California. So if we, we start mm. anywhere, either, either Los Angeles or Anaheim, then the mm. next show, if we're, if we want to stay in California and we want to head North, we go to Sacramento or San Francisco. Mm-hmm. And that's like seven hours, seven hours, six, seven hours. Oh, and that's it. You're still in California. Um, mm. And then if you has start heading up north, I mean, it's another depending on if you stop in Portland. That's. What, like another eight? Yeah. Another eight hours. Yeah. <clears throat> it, that sounds absolutely terrible. That's yeah. the West Coast is kind of one of those things where you have to you have to plan it out so that you play like the little like C and D markets, like tiny little towns on the way to save you those drives. Yeah. Otherwise, like oh, if you're true. just trying to yeah. play big markets in California, you're going like eight hours, sometimes nine in between each stop. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, it's kind of, so it really depends on who's, who's booking the, the tours. <laughs> yeah. I have heard that as well. Yeah. The um, routing makes a huge difference. Yeah, East the East Coast is East Coast is dope. Those are like all, mm. in the, like in the longest drive you'll do on the East Coast is maybe five hours. It feels like, unless you're like doing yeah. like a big jump somewhere or you want to start. I don't know, but usually the drives aren't too bad. Um, sometimes it's worth it yeah. to just play in like a tiny little like, uh, tiny little spot like a VFW hall or something like that, even just to like mm. take a break from driving and. Yeah, <laughs> reset yourself and then and then keep going. Yeah, you for know? sure. I feel like uh, we messed up last time. We went on like a little bit of a run in Australia, and we did like uh, just major cities. So we did Melbourne, Sydney, Wollongong, and then Brisbane. But we didn't stay anywhere because we like everything was so last minute. We just decided to drive it all. So when we did Melbourne, we drove from here to Melbourne, which is like eight and a bit hours. But then the guys were like, oh, we don't have accommodation. Let's just drive home. So we went down there, played the show. We're there for a couple of hours and then drove straight back. Whoa, and then, that's... yeah, and we just like the dates. So we got offered like a pretty good show that we couldn't turn down in Sydney. So we sort of just gave up playing a Sydney show for ourselves to support like some of our friends bands. And we were like, yeah, sweet, that rules. But it meant that we played Sydney and then drove straight to Brisbane, which is yeah, like 12 hours. Mm. And then we get there, spent like the day there, we went to the beach and stuff and then played the show. And then because our drummer had to work the next day, he's like, no, we need to drive home. <laughs> So we didn't stay anywhere. We just drove straight back, man. And were you? And uh, yeah, we we decided we're not doing that ever again. That's not. <laughs> we we need accommodation and stuff. <laughs> yeah, man. And were you but guys doing that in learn. a van or uh, were you doing yeah, that in, in a okay. <laughs> in a van that was like falling apart? It was the best. <laughs> That's how it goes. Sometimes right? the door would come off the uh, the railing. So it was just... terrible. <laughs> <Sick>. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the van we usually. Um, hire off a friend has been around the Australian industry for quite a while and it's changed hands quite a bit but like you go through and you see all the stickers in there from all the bands and you're like this is actually part of Australian heavy music history yeah that's cool <laughs> and it's yeah it's, it's pretty cool like I don't know how it changed hands so well and how it stayed alive but it's got like um, probably like I think it was like 750,000 kilometers on the uh, the clock. So I don't know what that works out in miles. My um, Imagine it's a lot. math is terrible. So, <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's quite a bit. <laughs> I think we had something. Did, did you guys drive the tuna for a while? What do you mean? Like um, the... The, the Creative Void van was originally undermined, I believe. And then I think it went to somebody else. I thought you guys had it for a while. Oh, I don't remember, drove. dude. And then it went to other bands after us. Dude, those 
Those BV equals give so much. <laughs> they give so much. And, and they're, not even, they're not even that appreciated. No. Yeah. No, not at all. Not too cool. And the, the last time, so I'm just being completely honest. When when we found out that, like, that, hey, we have, like, a offer for Australia, we're like, sick. Who are we supporting? Yeah. <laughs> You know, <laughs> and no, that's completely fair, dude. dude and so, because you know, for us, one, we've only really been back from we were like on a six year hiatus. We're like, mm. I think we're like now at about the year mark of being like back, you know, and so yeah, there's that. And then, um, our first time in Australia was 10 years ago, and we mm. were we were supporting, we were like second of four, and we were supporting Dream on Dreamer. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, actually, I vaguely remember that tour. Like, because we've played with Dream on Dreamer ages ago as well. It, it wasn't the same tour, but I'm just trying to think. Oh man, my like the timeline in my head is just gone. Oh, dude, <laughs> it's just I, non-existent. Yeah. But, but yeah. it was. I mean, it was, hey, it's cool though. Yeah, it was a fun tour. We it was a uh, uh, Hellions opened the tour. Who was who was mm. sick? Are they still? Yeah, are, are they around? Or fun? Uh, <sighs> Look, I don't even know, man. I run into uh, what's the vocalist name again? I can't Is it Dre? Or Dre? Yeah, Dre, Dre. Yeah. I ran into Dre at um, Unify one year and we had a big chat, but I haven't seen him since. So that was like maybe three, four years ago. So yeah. I got no idea. Yeah, they were, they were sick. Um, they opened up the tour. Yeah, Hellions and Dope, man. And then uh, it was us. And after us was Skylet Drive, which was mm. pretty random. Cool. Cause it was like a, yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> it was quite a quite a, change. a weird mix. But yeah, hey man, that's cool. They're cool dudes. They're nice dudes. We traveled a lot with them, but um, yeah, awesome. Yeah, they, the only thing I really remember from that band was they had that one breakdown where they would tune down in the middle of the breakdown. What? They, yeah, yeah, I do remember they, that. Did they, well, they do actually. that live? Yeah. Shit, I they had to have. <laughs> it, it, it was like the, yeah. the thing, like the, like one of their biggest uh, songs. <laughs> Like on the breakdown, they're fucking tuning down while they're doing the breakdown. <coughs> what? The and you hear it like dropping. Yeah, I, I definitely remember that being a thing. Damn, I'm a little embarrassed now. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. Maybe I, in the moment, I probably noticed some something wires. Yeah. Some, some, something. Yeah, probably. It was probably happening. Now it's, it's probably over my head. Yeah. I'm like oh. <laughs> like why does he keep tuning? <laughs> why in that part? Oh, he's. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'd say it was like, you know, we, we played and like, I felt like we had, we had a pretty cool response. Like I felt like people responded to us really, uh, to us really well, but, um, you yeah. know, that was, but that was it. And then like, so then we get this mm. offer and it's like, yeah, no, you guys are headlining. And we're like, what? Is, is there <laughs> yeah, genuine so... concern? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I feel way more relieved. Like one hearing that, like all the bands, I feel like, especially like you guys and outside, I feel like it's, we're all we're all like in the the realm of like hardcore metalcore like and i feel like yeah yeah i feel like it's gonna be it's not gonna be like a jarring it's not a weird mix yeah things yet. <clears throat> so yeah yeah but um yeah i think it's gonna go well like um it's it was super weird as well like everyone i was talking to i'm like oh we're supporting no bragging rights and people are like what no fucking way no bragging rights are coming and then um but it's like all the uh guys that have been around for a while as well all so all like that. All and yeah, all the old heads, man. Um, <laughs> but even in Singapore, when I was telling some of my friends, they're like, no fucking way. Like, so that was cool. I mean, there's a little bit of hype, which is good. Mm. Um, yeah, it should be it should be a really fun tour, man. Even like, we're just we're just here to have fun, hey. Yeah. Like, we just want to enjoy ourselves and you know hang out, basically. Either way, it'll be. I think you guys will be having a good time yeah i i'm I'm stoked i I was even more because i didn't know i didn't know if it was gonna just be the three of us i didn't know that they were Mm. doing uh more like local support and when i saw that i was like sick i was like yes yeah (laughs) yeah so i know that uh brendan's given a couple of bands some like opportunities as well i know there's like one or two bands that um like I know the dudes in Up in Arms who are going to be opening the Wollongong show, cool. and it's going to be their first show, I think. So Brennan's get, given them uh, a chance, uh, and they've been in bands. Like those dudes have been in bands since I was growing up. They were in like uh, 
a band called Chelsea Smile, oh. which was like years yeah. and years and years ago. Yeah. yeah. I think before even Chelsea Grimmer thing. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see like all these new bands, I guess. And like, I, I, I'm cool to just hang out and experience it all. Yeah. Totally. I'm excited. Uh, yeah. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to just being at shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like just, just experiencing it like yeah know. jumping back into being that at shows in life. another country mm-hmm. would be uh yeah no it's gonna be fun <clears throat> have you guys um, uh made so, it stateside at all no not yet we we want to we've got our friends um in ghost chant that want us to come over um i think they're from cali as well actually um, either Cali or completely opposite in New York. And we've got friends in, in <laughs> we've got friends in both. So I'm just trying to remember where they're from, but I'm pretty sure Ghost Chan are from Cali. Oh. Um, yeah, like we really want to, uh, and like we're not even, we've done, we're pretty stupid for doing it, but we were like, when we dropped our first EP after it, um, we were like, fuck it, let's do Southeast Asia. So we just went over and did Southeast Asia. Dude. And it was pretty good. It went, it was pretty successful, which I was super happy about. It was like one average show that happened, which was cool. Um, but so next on the list, I think could probably be Japan and the US. We want to do Europe as well. But we're not like, um, I guess, unrealistic about it. Or we're more like, hey, we'll pay our way to get there. Mm. just let us play right. <laughs> like, yeah. so because we we understand we're still a smallish band so you know we've got to make our you know way somehow so i'm always like yo all you got to do is book us we'll just yeah. we'll pay for our flights and shit just let us play we'll oh, find yeah. a way that's yeah. it <laughs> we'll find a way so you, and you i think you'll like you'll like uh like europe germany especially like there's just i just feel like everyone's just so so down for like mm. everything like they're they're they truly will give you a chance until like and if they don't like it then they don't like it and they'll tell you yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at least they give no, you a chance completely fair. yeah yeah i, yeah, I, I love sure. that dude I, people don't like my yeah. band fine i appreciate you listening yeah that's it yeah listening that's to it tell if me. you give us a chance that's the big thing man like we feel like um when we play we can impress it's just give us the chance to yeah. Like that's, that's, that's the thing. And like, if you don't like it after that, sweet, I don't mind, but yeah. Just don't walk out before we play. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were talking, we can ask, we can ask you this too. We were, we were, uh, we were saying what, what's a bigger, what's a bigger hit to your ego? Is it when, uh, when a band, whether it's like a really good local band or like a, a, just a band that, that draws, like everyone takes off after they play. Or oh, yeah, that's or playing to a just completely non-responsive crowd. Oh, dude, non-responsive crowds fucking suck, dude. <laughs> I can't explain it. Like, uh, we've we've done it a couple of times in like uh, bigger, like our headline shows at home usually go pretty well. Mm. Um, we get like quite a good response, and um, I really like it, but when we support some other bands, like bigger bands that come through and stuff, and we get like, and it's not just us, it's just like been the show has been non responsive. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, why are you here? Yeah, you don't have to be. Here. <laughs> yeah, you're like, <laughs> what did you pay to come here for? Right. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> but then I got to remember, like, I'm getting old now. I just turned 30. So, like, you're not old. I mean, you're I wouldn't be old. moving as much as I used to as well. <laughs> yeah. I, I think the most disrespectful thing that I've ever experienced, uh, somebody <laughs> sat on the stage oh, no. with their back to me while we were playing. <laughs> and I didn't take it very well. I just fucking kicked him in the back. <laughs> yeah, just, I would have done the same thing. Like, like, like not, I just, just like, you know, lovingly nudged him all the way off the stage. But I was like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't handle it very well. I was a little upset. <laughs> so Yeah, that's... <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> I have this really funny memory. <clears throat> it's funny memory of Salt Lake City. So Salt Lake City is awesome. I I think mm. it, it rules. But there was a time there where they had like a pretty was like a I don't know. I guess a reputation of like if they don't like you, like 
you're fucked. You're fucked, basically. <laughs> like, that kind of thing. And so, I remember being, like, nervous. This, this, this is actually... I, I, I should probably tell it. I should probably tell this on, like, Pa. But um, we, we always had a hard time in, like, Salt mm. Lake City. But it was kind of like, ah, whatever it is, what it is. Like, um... We just we'll, we we do our thing, and so mm. we're playing this we're playing the show, and the bands that we have on tour with us are more they're definitely more like metal. Um, yeah. I, actually, have you heard of a band called Affiance? No, I don't think so. They're like, Affiance. yeah, I don't know, like really cool, high like singing, like really he has a incredible oh, yeah, voice, yeah, yeah. metal. And then uh, then the other band was called Across the Sun. They were kind of like a. Uh, I don't know, like kind of like kill switch a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And so anyway, anyway so like they're playing and um, same dude, like what happened with you, there was a whole, like the whole row of dudes that just sat down on the stage or wow. just kind of like either, Fuck, had, either had their back or they were at least like sitting there and kind of like looking up and watching them and like, but no one left, no one left the venue. Everyone stayed in the venue. And they just kind of like scattered. They like, like were off to the wall. Was that because there's no ins and outs, or <laughs> probably? <laughs> no. But uh, but I remember thinking like, oh man, like it's just it's like it's just like it's painful, right? And I remember talking yeah. to the guys to the to the it was across the sun. <laughs> I remember talking to them afterwards, and they were like, Whew. they're like all relieved. They're like, I was like, oh, like what? You're you're good with that? Like we didn't get jumped, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like, dude, they, they, didn't, they didn't say anything. They didn't like heckle us or nothing. You know, they just kind of didn't respond. It's like, we're good with that. I was like, Oh, that's fair. I guess that's one way to, I mean, no expectations. You can't really be disappointed. Yeah. But, hey, that's cool. But yeah, I think Indonesia was uh, a little tough for us. That was the only show in Southeast Asia that went like, it was so clicky, man. We played with like a few bands and one of them's like, like, I guess sort of black metal metal sort of stuff, which was really cool. I enjoyed it heaps. Mm -hmm. um, I can't remember the name for the life of me though. And then like, there was a hardcore band and then like one of the more popular hardcore bands, but nobody's band watched each other and it was so clicky. Like it was mm -hmm. just like, nobody was talking to each other outside and stuff. And then when we played, it was just like, everyone just sort of, they were there and they were watching, but like nobody moved, nobody even like looked like they were getting into it. And I was like, ah, oh, shit, I really, because that was the first show on the Southeast Asia tour. So I was like, well, I hope oh. this isn't a sign for things to come. Dang. But then um, our next show we played was Malaysia and we packed this room like, it was a pretty small room, but we packed it full of kids. And like everyone was going wild, man. So it was just like one Dude, of the funnest things in the world. That's the and best. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, that's 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 the best thing that happened after a shit show." Yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I'm super happy about that. Man, I, um, I'd I'd love to get out to get out that way. Dude, their videos right now. I'm like, I feel like they're like mostly. I feel like they're like mostly Indonesian shows. I could be wrong. Which, mm. which videos? It's like these. Uh, Oh, I was like, I will follow him on Instagram, but uh, it looks it's got it's got to be South Southeast Asia, but mm. it's like the shows look wild, like you know, kids are throwing down, like they're a lot of spin kicks. Yeah, are you talking about uh, with like Modern Guns and like Gaga, like that band? I think so. Because Modern Guns in Indonesia, it's this. I don't know how it's happening or what's going on there, but like Modern Guns, we're friends with them. They're cool dudes. But they are huge in Indonesia. I'm talking like thousands of kids will all be rushing the stage trying to get the mic, and it's Dang. just like I don't. It, 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 I don't think it translates anywhere else but Indonesia. But it's like <clears throat> holy shit, it's really cool. I, I love to go and play there. But there's like um, in Malaysia and Indonesia right now, it's super tough with the government. They want you to get proper entertainment visas, which are like. Mm. 500 us a uh, person or something mm. like that and i think malaysia might be more i'm pretty sure i can't remember if it was the drain show or whether it was something recent happened like because i know a couple of the promoters in singapore and stuff and they were explaining it it's super tough in malaysia because what they'll do is they'll give you your entertainment visa and your license to play and stuff but the police will turn up and be like oh well 
there's people hurting each other. You have to pay us this much or we're going to cancel the show. Wow. And like Shit. you either give them, you either give them the money or, or the show's over. So it's like, <clears throat> it's not worth it for promoters right now. Tijuana energy. Which is, yeah, yeah super tough. But Damn. I think you guys would kill it over there. Dude, I, I, would, I would go like that. That's one thing I feel like a lot of people don't, don't uh, I don't know, like, um, we we were we were supposed to play Israel. We were supposed to play Tel Aviv. Um, that would and, be dope. Yeah, and like when I was talking, like I was talk, I would talk to other bands and stuff, and they're like, "Dude, you wanted to do that? I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why not, man? Dude, I would go anywhere. It's funny. I'm like, I'm yeah, not. I'm it. I'm pretty. I'm like kind of a homebody. I do like traveling. I like you know. I I like mm. I'd like to see new things. But even uh, I don't know. I can't think of a place like. I feel like people get like uh like we I don't know I was about to say we'd play like North Korea. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I probably would too. Yeah, I'd right. do it. I mean, they they need to hear the message. Yeah, they need. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, but like yeah, I, just, I I remember just the first time being like, wait, what? There's like uh even like even like Tijuana and stuff like parts of Mexico. Like mm. I'll, I'll play it. I'll play all the yeah. spots, man. Um, mm. Russia. I'd play. I would. I'd love to play. I'd love to go to Russia. Um, yeah, I think Russian Ukraine might. Maybe not right now. Yeah, maybe but, not right yeah, now. Maybe it's not the time. Currently. <laughs> yeah, but in the future. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, like I still every time like stuff like this comes up in conversation, I always think about um, when stick to your guns, go and play like Africa, and I'm like, man, I want to be doing that. And they just go into the middle of nowhere play a show it's just like this is crazy it's so sick um yeah so i've always, like stick to your guns have always been a band i've really looked up to just uh music wise as well as you know everything else they do oh yeah um same so yeah when i see them going to africa well you know they did it years ago but and they've got dudes like jerking off outside because it was such a good time. <laughs> it's like some crazy shit, man. I'm like, I want to be doing that. I don't even care how many people we play to. Let's go to Africa. Dude. And the rest of the band are just like, dude, shut up. We're not going to Africa. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> dude, uh, so I think it's, I think it's, um, South, I think, I think you can tour like South Africa as far as like they have like somewhat of a hardcore scene out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, South Africa's easy. Uh, the mm-hmm. rest of the country, maybe not so much. Yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> um, yeah, we got a couple of friends in South Africa in uh, the band Volvodinia. Um, they're like uh, deathcore, like technical deathcore sort of stuff. Boom. Really cool dudes, really cool music. Um, and we were meant to be on tour with them last November, but uh, – one of their Southeast Asia tours got canceled, so they couldn't make it work with coming out here just to do the five shows because it's super tough in Australia. Like, it's you know it's way more like logistical. Like, I mean, it, it works logistically to do the US rather than to come to Australia and play five shows right. in the major cities and then you know fly back, which costs <clears throat> uh, you know a stupid amount. But yeah, so we just have to time that properly. How, but yeah, um, South Africa seems to be dope. Yeah. How um how accessible are those Southeast Asia uh, like tour runs for you guys in Australia? Like, for is us, it... they're, they're pretty accessible for us because um it depends where we start, but like flights really aren't that expensive for like if we do one ways places mm. and then we you know get ground transport and stuff. It's it's not that bad. It, to be honest, it's probably uh, Australia is pretty cheap for us to do. I guess it's getting more expensive, but um, I'd say usually you can get one-way flights in and out of countries pretty cheap. I mean, for me, just by myself, I flew to Singapore from Australia for like two hundred two hundred and thirty dollars, I think. Wow! And that's Australian, so I don't know what that works out to be U.S. It's like probably maybe. 150 yeah so 150 that's us one way Dude, which is pretty good like that's a domestic flight basically yeah that's like cheaper than from your <laughs> san maybe, francisco maybe maybe next time around australia Sing- Southeast dude Asia. i would oh my god hey man oh. like, if you guys want i can put you in contact with some dudes dude please. and i'd probably probably take you on 100 percent actually that'd be rad 
Dude, hell yeah. yeah. Maybe we might have to join you as well. <laughs> That'd be fun. Seems like a no-brainer. Because everyone's like, hey, when a proposal coming back to Singapore? And I'm like, I don't know, man. When are you booking it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's my that's my response for everything. Yo, when are you guys coming? Dude, get us out there. We Actually, we have, <laughs> yeah. we have, we have a, uh, a buddy... Um, uh, I don't know his name. Anyway, we have a buddy from Japan, and he actually came mm. out to a show, one of our one of our home shows in Anaheim. Like he came out, and oh, um, oh, yeah. yeah, it was so, it was it's rad. And so like, he's one of the few guys where I'm like, dude, we're trying to get to you. Like we want to go to, yeah. <laughs> to Japan. We're gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna get yeah. to you. Like the show, the, you yeah. know. But everywhere else, or whenever like we get we get uh we we'll get like South America quite a bit. People are like, oh, yeah. you know, when are you guys coming out here? It's like, dude, yeah, spread us, Brazil. spread us, Always. man. Like, <laughs> tell all your friends, like, get us. I don't know, <laughs> we'll come. <laughs> you, yeah, like we'll, we'll yeah. come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we'll come. Japan. We'll come. <laughs> Japan is definitely one of those ones. I actually got some contacts recently of um, some guys from Singapore that have already toured over there, so. I'm going to uh, send some messages and see if we can just, I don't know, maybe score like some support slots and stuff. Nice. But what, see what, how that goes. What's the flight for you guys from where you're at to Japan? Uh, I think it's it depends because there's like you need to get direct from Sydney, which is I think nine hours. Or I think if, if you fly to Brisbane or Cairns, like up north. I think it's like seven and a half, so it's it, it's not that bad. And the flights, like, they're not that expensive. So usually it's weird. We get, like, real cheap flights over there, so we'll get, like, maybe $400 flights over there, but on the way back, then they jump up more than double that. So it's, uh, I don't know. Man. man, speaking of flights, we're, we're kind of, uh, <laughs> to, save, to save money, <laughs> mm. it's like... It, I, I, I was trying to work out the math. I, I think we, we like save almost like just under like three grand by leaving on Tuesday night ex- instead of Monday. Like we wanted to leave. Yeah. But, yeah. We, we wanted to leave Monday and that way we get land and land on Wednesday. So we'd have like a, yeah, a, a yeah, full yeah. day to, you know, relax, yeah. relax, acclimate. Nope. Uh, <laughs> Monday is a hectic oh, no. travel day. Is it? Yeah. Oh Isn't no. Oh. Um, where are you guys landing? In Adelaide or Sydney? I think I believe we're landing in Adelaide. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be way easier because we uh, because we decided we're going to drive in the van. It's gonna take us fucking fourteen hours to get to Adelaide. Oh <laughs> dang! So uh, we'll be pretty uh, exhausted when we see you guys, and oh. we need to leave the Wednesday night because our uh, one of our guitarists has to work on the Wednesday, so we're gonna leave at like 5 p.m. on um, on the Wednesday and just hope for the best. Dude, well, <laughs> good, good. At least, yeah. at least, and we won't be alone because we we land. Yeah. Day of. Yeah. We land like hours, <laughs> hours before the show. Oh yeah. man, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm, a, I'm already I'm a, I need like a horse tranquilizer or something just so I can sleep on a plane because I, I can't sleep on I can't sleep on flights. Oh, true. So I need something to yeah. knock me out. That's the worst. Yeah, I'm lucky the last couple of flights I've taken, I've just put my AirPods in and passed out for a while. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I think the trick is not to sleep the night before and then you'll be asleep. <laughs> See, I've done I've done all these things. I've done not sleeping. <laughs> it just doesn't work. Mm-hmm. I've tried drinking <laughs> oh, heavily. Dude, none of it works. I was like, I was like, man, I hope I can get on this plane. <laughs> I had a couple of drinks, a lot, and um, and then as soon as I like got on, as soon as I get on the plane, I was like sober. I was like completely like, yeah. Oh man. I yeah, uh, it's my, it's bad. It's I that really, oxygen for sure. <laughs> yeah, I just have a really bad anxiety when it comes to flying. So. Yeah, at least you're gonna still do it though. Like that's the. Yeah. I've sort of just accepted it. Like, even when there's turbulence and stuff, I'm just laying there. I'm like, well, it is what it is. If I die, I die. So I just lay back and go to sleep. Dude, you know, it's weird because I feel like I, sh- I feel like I, I'm like that with like anything. Like when I'm driving, like we've driven through some like awful, awful things. Mm. And I'm just kind of like, oh, if this is how we go, this is how we go. 
And yeah. but like for whatever reason, on a plane, I don't know why. I'm just like not like this. <laughs> not like we, this. We did like a 45 minute flight to Arizona, and he was like gripping the fucking seat. Though I was like, we're barely going anywhere. Well, I mean, I guess the van choice is a bit better for you then. You'd be sweet. Yeah. Like once you land here, at least. Yeah. Oh yeah. Once yeah, I'm 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 fine with that traveling. I we had we had a. We had a van, a van accident. It's kind of the no, reason no. for our hiatus, but uh, mm. man, no, I was about to say I'd rather do that again than no experience bad a bad <laughs> thing experience. No, yeah, no, no. Mm. yeah, that's tough, man. We uh, on that last run that we did, the one that um, like we drove. We let our uh, like younger guitarist drive, and he like nearly fell asleep at the wheel, and we were just like, "Nope, nope, you're not driving anymore." Yeah. But um, <laughs> that was a weird thing. We we got stuck behind a house as well. They were literally moving a house on a truck oh, shit. down the fucking highway. <laughs> so it was like they were blocking three lanes, so we couldn't overtake. So we're just doing like, I don't know. It probably it was something dumb. It probably would have been like thirty miles an hour behind this truck the whole time Damn. we're just sitting there like well what do we do <laughs> that was that's, ridiculous yeah, as well sucks. what's the uh what's the weather right now in australia um it's it's been all over the place but it's currently blue skies and sweet it's nice and warm so okay. but <clears throat> it'll change 100 percent. like yeah. so I don't even know what to tell you guys to bring. It's like, <laughs> because, because it's... bring a hoodie, but a hoodie, yeah. just one. Yeah, yeah, just one hoodie. You'd be sweet. Where... It doesn't get that cold here. Like, um... man, I was just with an American guy in Japan. We were like converting the temperatures and stuff, but he was actually from Sacramento as well. But um, yeah. I, I can't remember the, the difference between like Celsius and uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Fahrenheit. So, but oh, we're, well. when we're so right now, or I guess in the next next month, is that is that your fall? Is that like considered like your? Um, I'm trying to remember. I feel like we're like opposites. Because your winter, your yeah, we because you guys just had winter, yeah. winter, right? Yeah, I'm just trying to remember what time of the year it is. No, we were meant to just have summer. Because <laughs> we just had winter. So wait, summer, summer, yeah. Oh, sorry, you guys had, my bad, you guys had yeah, summer. We just, yeah, so summer, we're going. Into Yeah, into yeah, autumn. that makes sense. Autumn. Yeah. Autumn. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think right now. I've been in Japan and it was winter, so I was like, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. So, so it, it'll be, the weather's going to be, it's not going to be cold. It's, uh, but I mean, who knows? Because the rain's been crazy lately and it's just every couple of days it changes. Like it was super cold when I got back and then now today it's heated up again, but I don't know. Or I think I'm going to, I think last time I was there, I feel like I wore shorts during the day and then to be not to be funny but like i was like i'm gonna wear pants on stage <laughs> my show clothes will be, <laughs> will be khakis Dickies and, a, and a windbreaker weird um, <clears throat> yeah i think i might i think i might just roll just shorts mm, shorts uh I, probably the way to go maybe bring some dickies just in case it gets a little bit colder but you should be sweet. Canberra's probably the only place that's going to get freezing. And it won't even be that cold. But I don't know. You should Some just of the get boys those... from the US were complaining last time. So, I mean, I have no idea. Maybe they were just babies. <laughs> that's a big possibility. <laughs> just get those uh, zipper shorts, dude. That way, if it gets too cold, you can zip your pants <laughs> there you go. back on the bottom. You can uh, come <clears throat> prepared for all terrains and weather. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Well, um, so m just my last my last little question. Hopefully, this isn't mm -hmm. this isn't offensive. <laughs> meant to be, it's meant to be, meant no, to be funny. It, yeah. What would you say is your most Aussie lyric? Um, Do you guys say shit. heaps shit house at all? 
<laughs> That's my favorite. That was like... shit house. No, I don't actually have that in a song, surprisingly. Mm. Um, man, I actually, this is a tough one because, like I was just saying, when I was in Japan, I was hanging out with like Americans and French guys and stuff like that. And they're all like, man, you don't sound Australian because you just don't say cunt much. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, wait till I'm playing video games and I'm yelling at all the fucking time. But. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I try and like back away from, I guess, like Aussie slang because it's just, I don't know, man. <laughs> Sometimes I don't want to be associated with it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, actually, so uh, Dream On, Dream On Dreamer, their, mm. their singer is from, he's German. and uh, Yeah, yeah. And so... It was it was it was interesting, and I was reading through his lyrics because I was just like, "He's riding like a German." Like he uses words that like I I don't think I've ever used ever like <laughs> like uh like he he uses like uh like and this is not a knock on him. There's actually a compliment for him, probably a knock on me. Like he'll use like yeah. words like triumphant. Oh yeah. Or like triumph <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. Like I'm like, oh, it's yeah. sick. I've never used that word either. I've never yeah. used that word. It's a cool word. Um, yeah, I don't think I've used that in a sentence, like to speak <laughs> yeah. or, or in my music. So. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely get that. It's uh, it's it's different, like how different. Even like just um, the same genres of music, like how much they change, especially like. You, I think you guys do definitely sound a, a little bit European. I think you got that European melodic hardcore sound. It's like uh, it. very German, actually. Really? Like, um, yeah, I, th that's the vibe I get. Um, like, uh, have you guys heard of like Light Yurenka and stuff like that? Yeah, uh, we we, is... we took them out with us. Oh, there you go. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Yeah, that sort of stuff. And I reckon it's it's uh, who else am I thinking of? that UK band. I shouldn't be forgetting their name because uh, it's where we got our name from. Ah, <laughs> um, oh, they got cancelled. Charlie, what's his... From the UK. I can't remember the band. Oh, name. Um, what are they called? Uh, there's um, so many bands that have been cancelled lately. I don't how know. have I forgotten their name? This is, this is crazy to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Charlie, uh, I don't know. He's now a barber, and he got cancelled because apparently he was hitting on underage girls. Oh. So that's that's what I remember about the band. Dang. And I'm not saying that that's what you guys remind me of. <laughs> we have those, I mean, we have the, those the, vibes, the those cancelled vibes. The music. Well, I mean, I take it as a compliment. I take it as a compliment. I've never heard yeah. the, the European, European <laughs> side. I'll take it. It. I'll. I'll. I'll uh, what are they called? Fuck. It's Ooh. just gone. It's gone from my head, but I'll remember it. Mm. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Hard in hand. No. Hot in hand. That's it. Is that who it was? It's the band. Yeah. <laughs> that's who it is. Yeah. <laughs> I literally googled. You got it. Charlie UK hardcore band canceled. <laughs> 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 the first thing that came up was Hard in hand. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, hot there we hand. go. That's hot who I was. Hand. Yeah, also, that sort of stuff. And also, Ghost Chant is from New York. Oh, okay. Oh, they are from yeah, New York. They're from New York. <laughs> Shit. Well, <laughs> I, I, fuck. Who's from LA then? I can't remember. <clears throat> It'll be one of our other friends. But uh, yeah. Now, I I do have a question for you guys. I'm curious about your uh, like to a diet when you when you're in the US. Like, what? Where's your usual stops? Like, what do you guys eat when you're there? The like worst. What's your go-to? We're the worst. Um, <laughs> garbage. Agar, yeah. In the in the U.S. Yeah, no, but that's what I want. We... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I I will say this. Like, it is it is pretty nice. Um, in the sense of like, junk food. You know what I mean? Like fast yeah. food. Like you 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 we have it everywhere. Like you're mm. you're gonna you're gonna have you know Taco Bell is everywhere, which is awesome. Yeah. Do you guys have yeah. Taco Bell out there? Yeah, we've got a couple of stores, and luckily enough, I've got one maybe 10 minutes from my house, which <laughs> it's probably not the greatest. And we've just, uh, like a Carl's Jr.'s being built, 
like oh. not far from my house as well. Right like on. yeah, I think everyone's starting to branch over into the uh, into Australia, but I well, mean it's not bad, but it's not great either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember one of the uh, our buddy our buddy Chris. He was not he was in a band called House First Hurricane. And, uh, yeah, I remember how I remember there. them. I don't know. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. And uh, and so Chris was like, he's like, dude, I'm so excited. You guys are gonna have like proper like Aussie pizza, and we we're like sick. Oh, like, yeah. We were all excited, and he took us to fucking Domino's, dude. <laughs> I'm like, are you joking? Are you are you no being way. serious? He's like, you have Domino's in the United States. We're like, are you what? <laughs> like, dude, bro. Oh man, that's man. funny. So. Um, yeah, like uh, the only thing I've been told, uh, like, I mean, I've had, actually I've eaten quite a bit like, uh, on the East coast cause I was there for a little bit and hung out with a friend in Philly for a while, okay. but, um, Philly cheese steaks. The McDonald's, the, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. But you know what? I've had better Philly cheese steaks out of Philly than I have in that's Philly. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> So I, I, I did notice the difference between like the quality of fast food that you guys have is not the same quality as what we get. No, you guys um, is way better. Yeah. 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 Which is crazy. Um, and like, there's so much more sugar in everything in the U S I feel Yeah. like from anything from like your fountain soda to even just your burgers. But I mean, it, it didn't stop me from eating them. But it was yeah. like, yeah. yeah. If, if you look yeah. at like the even even soda, like you look at what it's sweetened with, and here it's like high fructose corn syrup, mm. and then you know everywhere else it's like genuine like cane sugar. Yeah, or, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's less processed, less bullshit. So that's yeah. why we're all fat. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we. So <laughs> so like for for us, um, like fast food, it just it just it is what it is because it's like couple things like being from out here like our drives that we're talking about like pretty long right so yeah 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 and so you don't really have the most time to like stop somewhere nice you know i mean mm. we there are you know it, and I, I guess it also depends on where you're playing but uh mm. i don't know man like our gas station food like i think when you get more towards like the middle of, of the united states um gas station food actually gets better like wawa yeah there's a place called wawa a place called sheets oh, true um, Bucky's. Bucky's. Yeah, sheets. Bucky's is, I've had sheets work. before. Oh yeah, right. so, you know. <clears throat> but um. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've noticed that the food isn't too bad. Our gas station food is fucking terrible. Man. It, <laughs> and it's like dry, crusty, like just the worst stuff. Sometimes they'll even try and sell you sushi, and it's like been sitting there for fucking four days. <laughs> yeah, funny, probably not that long, but it's only the sushi that. from gas station. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so I've never. I I don't think. No, I haven't. I haven't had sushi from the gas stations in Australia, but I did have <laughs> sushi every day that I was out there from like, yeah. um, cause, and this may be a shape lie. I, I believed it, but, uh, my buddy was saying that at your, like your nicer, like grocery stores or kind of things or your marts, what your mini mart, whatever the, I don't know what's called. um, yeah. that he's like, no, he's like, these are like fresh. Cause it's like, they put it out. I don't know. It tasted, yeah. tasted amazing. So, um, <laughs> and, and so, yeah, I was going to say the, the math broke down that it was basically like the same price for like whatever fast food spots you guys have out there. I could pay yeah. basically the same for like sushi. So I just did sushi like every day. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to like Woolworths, they have like, I wouldn't call them sushi chefs, but they have chefs that'll make the sushi on the day there. So, I mean, it, it it seems to be some of the freshest, but I don't know about the quality. <laughs> like, yeah. and I it's tough because I really enjoy Japan, like eating Japanese food in Australia that isn't made by a Japanese person. It's like I'm just like, oh man, come on. Yeah, this is that's, bad. <laughs> that's how I feel when I see a non non Mexican making Mexican food. Mm. Oh man, it's yeah. I actually tried some. Uh, some Mexican in uh, near Pittsburgh and it was terrible, man. <laughs> yeah, I was like trying to find like a good chimichanga and like, man, that's it's so impossible to find. Yeah, even like o over here, man. There's like one place that does it still, and it's not great, but but it's enough to get by. 
Yeah, yeah, it's definitely enough. <laughs> yeah. It's expensive oh, as well. I feel like I feel like we went I think we stopped at like a burrito spot out there. Yeah. And it was it was uh I was trying to be as nice as I could about it. <laughs> no, it's it's terrible, well, man. It's definitely oh. a burrito. <laughs> it's I'll definitely wrapped Max in a tortilla. Like, <laughs> our text max is like horrible, bro. It's just I don't know. And and that's it's crazy too because there's like definitely a dividing line here in the states where it goes from mm. genuine Mexican food to like Tex-Mex. the Tex Mex type stuff. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I like both. I mean, I I like yeah. definitely make more the Mexican tradition, traditional better, but um, yeah. So I've I've uh I campaigned this for a while because um I don't know if it's just my conspiratorial side, but uh, <laughs> I think I feel like. I feel like Aussies completely play up how dangerous everything is. Spiders, you're, you, oh, have, yeah. you have magpie birds that will attack you. I mean, everything is like going to oh, attack no, the, you. The magpies probably will attack you if you go in <laughs> spring, at least in in spring. Okay. Uh, they, I've, it's weirdly enough, I've never been swooped. I've been with friends that have been swooped, which is hilarious. <laughs> I, I like it's one of the funniest things to me. I just remember being a kid. And like one of my friends riding his bike up a street and he was just like high pitched screaming at the top of his lungs while this bird is swooping in. He's got a helmet on too, so I don't know why he was screaming. Did it have the things just... coming out of it? No, he didn't put the things uh, on. <laughs> Maybe that's where he went that's wrong. Probably, uh, that's why I went. But Yeah, but uh it, they can they can get very territorial, but um I've never really had a problem. The spiders yeah, you're probably not gonna get bitten by a spider. You might see spiders, but didn't they and, just find a brand new species of spider in Australia that looks all <laughs> fucking gnarly? Yeah. It looks terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny, man. I did not even know about that. Man. But I'm going to look into it now. Yeah, see, so, uh, so yeah, this, this, this is what I mean. Like, yeah. we, we know about that. Like, and yeah. so I think, I feel like uh, there's so much about, like, oh, everything is, like, dangerous and this and that. And I think... I think you guys did that on purpose <laughs> so that you guys don't get overpopulated because my, in my experience there, one, dude, you guys' coffee is good. Like I yeah, enjoyed yeah. coffee. I was like drinking coffee every day. Loved it. You guys would even sometimes put yeah. a scoop of ice cream into my coffee, which I love. Oh you, yeah. If you want to, you want an iced coffee, you get a scoop of ice cream, man. Dude. Um, fire. Yeah. So good. Like I genuinely didn't, enjoy the coffee in the u.s no matter where i had it That's like my, i was like yo take me. i don't know about la but like everywhere else was terrible man i, I feel like la would probably have a bit of a coffee culture around it so mm-hmm. um but like man i even my, i told my friend i'm like yo take me to the best cafe you know and me being forgetting and being stupid i was like can i get a large coffee and I didn't realize the coffee was going to be this fucking big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I, I took like three sips out of it. I'm like, this is fucking terrible. I can't drink it. And my friend's like, well, I'm not letting it go to waste. And I'm like, whatever, man, take Dude. it. That, I mean, um, that's the one thing I feel like the United States does have is size. <laughs> Which excess. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> but so, do you, so co- your guys' coffee, and I've tried to tell people mm. this, your guys' coffee is legit. Your guys' meat is legit. Mm. Um, yeah. your sushi, I mean, I guess mm. it, it, for, I think what I was impressed by the fact that like I was buying it at a grocery store kind of thing and it was good and it was, yeah. good, and it was like fresh and like, or at least, you know, and so, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I just think like the fish that's right there. So it's like pretty, yeah, everything's, I, I feel like it's going to be fresh. Yeah. Yeah. And that, yeah. Everything's coastal when you're all, that's all there. So, yeah. and then, uh, what else? There's something else that I was just like. Why is nobody talking about this? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like all these things. I was like, dude, every like all your food's good. Like, uh, th- th- except your attempts at Mexican food, uh, that is no, like you yeah, just let I, that probably let that go. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna definitely agree. With you. <laughs> but everything, everything else, I was just like, dude. I was like, you don't have to be good at everything. Yeah, I was like, why is no one talking about this? And then it hit me. I was like, dude, you know what? I was like, they did this. Uh, Australians, they 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 spun this. They're they're telling everyone like. Crocodile's gonna come out, come out from under your bed. <laughs> Spider's gonna attack you in the shower. Like, look. Uh, so I think yeah, most of it's like in the cities. You're not really gonna get into too much trouble. Like, mm-hmm. 
I'll be honest, I've seen, I think, one or two snakes out in the wild, like, ever. So, I, and, and usually they just, like, slither off and that's it. Um, and I do, like, quite a bit of bushwalking and stuff sometimes. So, I mean, if I haven't seen any, then... It depends where you are, though, because there definitely is some parts of Australia where if you swim in a river, you're probably going to get eaten by a crocodile. Damn. Or, like, oh, yeah. um, that's, like that's, that's the thing. I think it's... it's I, I think they've at. stopped people swimming in, in the rivers in, like, Darwin and stuff because of that. Damn. But, um... Uh, you're not going to get eaten by a, a drop bear or like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> stuff like that. I think, yeah, the media play up and, and Australians as well. Just so we seem tougher, I think. I think that's that's a big thing. Everyone wants to seem tough in Australia. Well, it's but, but, um, but it's also, I mean, it, you're not overpopulated. Like California is like insane, yeah. right? And uh, yeah. I think it's because we've been so cocky. We we're so cocky about everything. Like we shared all our secrets. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we so, talk about how beautiful, be. <laughs> how beautiful the weather is, and you know, yeah. all this stuff. And now it's you know, it's just super crowded out here. As it yeah. thunderstorms outside. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's probably the same. Like we're not getting overcrowded or overpopulated. We do have like housing and rental crises happening right now, which is terrible. But it's all because of the market and what's happening in the world right now but mm. uh i don't think we're overpopulated at all i think it's more everyone just wants to live in the good spots um and then everywhere else is is just left behind sort of like japan right now i guess mm. but i don't think we have a depopulation issue so yeah because yeah. you scared everyone away you guys <laughs> kept all these delicious all those drop bears yeah yeah <laughs> drop all the drop bears man <laughs> I felt yeah. stupid. I had to actually be like, There's... "That's like not real, right?" I'm no like, "That's not. That's not real, right?" <laughs> like... Yeah, <laughs> I convinced a girl in Baltimore once that real bears were real, and then like two hours later, she messaged me and she's like, "You're a fucking idiot." I was like, what? <laughs> You're like, "I have to. It's part of." Yeah. It's, yeah, it's part of the culture. It's part now. of the culture. Oh, speaking of culture, uh, you know, I don't want to just. Assume actually, I get this assumption too. Whenever we travel outside of the outside of California, people assume mm. uh, a couple things about me being Hispanic and stuff. That you know, oh, you play soccer, are you, are you Catholic, which I'm not. Yeah. And then, um, and then it's like, oh, do you guys surf? I get that. And <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. I've never. I've bodyboarded, yeah. I guess, but I've never really. Yeah, attended. me too, bud. <laughs> you're not. You know. You don't surf either. Uh, so I've tried surfing before. Uh, I'm more of a bodyboarder and I have done that uh, quite a bit, but, um, I'm not like an avid bodyboarder where I'm like, Oh, I need, I see a good wave. I need to be out there. Our, uh, our, our guitarist on the other hand, he's definitely a surfer. Uh, he probably won't bring his board, but, um, he's definitely like, Holy shit. I need to be in the water. Dang. This guy is yeah. not much of a water guy I'm about to say, whatsoever. We, we are completely opposite. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, what I'm, about water that isn't the ocean? <laughs> dude. So actually, so we, we had, uh, we had one of our, one of my buddies. Um, he's actually, uh, a, a, a drag racer, right? Race car, mm. race car. And he's, uh, he's Australian. Mm. And the way he was just talking about, like the way the way he was talking about it, it sounded beautiful. It sounded I was like, dude, I get it. That sounds amazing. He's talking about how yeah. like his family will just take the boat out and they'll just go as far as they can, and then they get out yeah. in the middle of, middle of the ocean and then they just go swimming. They just swim. Yeah. And he was telling me I was like, oh, it's you know, water's so clear, you can like look down for you know whatever. And <laughs> I'm he's telling me this, and my anxiety is just going nuts. I'm like, dude, there's no way I could just jump out. And just in swim the in the middle of the ocean. Of the ocean. Yeah. See, I feel like I would have a problem with that too, man. I don't, deep water, yeah, <laughs> like and just just a vast where you can't see anything else. I think that would mess me up, like just diving in the ocean, because like you know, there's endless possibilities out there. Yes, yes, there are. At the it's beach terrifying. and stuff, I'm I'm sweet, but uh, even like far, far out, like if I'm at the beach, I mean, we've even run into like seals and stuff. Like last time I went surfing, actually. Uh, there was a seal in the water and it was 
it looked like it was resting, so I was a little bit worried because usually when they're resting, they've just run from something. But um, <laughs> oh, we were like, shoot. yeah, Dude, yeah, I and I was, that. <laughs> I was just chilling, and I'm like, oh, I want to go pat him, and my friend was like, don't touch it. It's like a, you know, a dog. It'll bite you. I was like, all right, fine, I won't touch it, but I'm gonna look at it. <laughs> so that was cool, but um, yeah, I feel like deep water, like real deep water, would definitely mess me up as well. And a lot of other Australians, we're not, we're not all just like that, I guess. Yeah. Unless okay. you grew up with it, maybe. I, don't know. I think he did. I think Steve did. Yeah, he grew up with it for sure. But yeah, it was funny. He's telling this beautiful story. I'm just like, mm. <laughs> I'm, like mm, I don't know. No, I'm good. Dude. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm, not. I'm good. <clears throat> what if it was like a like a waterfall or like you know fresh water where there's no animals? Oh, except for maybe like a. A snake, but it won't bother you. <laughs> I think I could do that. I think I could do yeah. waterfall. Do yeah, that. sweet. Yeah. I just... Uh, Maybe we'll have to go to a waterfall. Yeah. It was in Australia <laughs> where they gave you goggles, right? No, that was Hawaii. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I, was talking about, I was talking about how uh, I went... We went... Our, the, one of my buddies, he had like this beautiful house like right on the water. And he had his own dock mm. and everything. And so like... We, you jump out and like the, it's like about like, like 12 feet or something. It's not very deep. It, it, but it's, you know, we were all swimming around like a, a bay, I guess. I don't know. I'm bad at that. Yeah. And so like, you could look, oh, I looked to my right and I could like see, like, I can almost see people's feet going into the water. Like it was so, it was so clear. I could see everything. Yeah. Um, and so, and so like we're in the water and our, sorry, our buddy throws in goggles and I look and I can see everything. But then when I look at my left, look at my left, and it was like, like dark blue, and I saw like the drop off. Like, I, don't know. I was just like, yep. I'm out. I was like, I can't. <laughs> like, this was a mistake. I was being so brave, but yeah, yeah it's uh, yeah. I don't like to think about those things either. I've been like uh, snorkeling, I guess, like diving and stuff once or twice, but. It still freaks me out. Like, I do it, but it, there's definitely that anxiety there. Like, you know, I'm amongst fish right now. Like, what if something amongst, bites me? And there's, and we're so helpless. We're like, so helpless. Oh yeah, the 100%. best swimmers can't outswim a fish or a fucking shark. Yeah. Do, you, do you have you guys seen <laughs> sharks? Do you know anyone who's seen a shark when they've gone surfing? Yeah, like I know people that have seen sharks, but they not been bothered by them and most people will tell you the same thing like they'll just leave you alone but then you hear these stories i mean i know it's just the media and stuff and mm -hmm. like the access to the media we have now but like you hear stories have been like yeah so uh friend was out there and then got bit by a shark and you're like what the fuck <laughs> yeah. but that's a, like i don't know i guess it's just access to all the media yeah, because not taking into account all like the thousands and millions of people that have been in the water that day and nothing well, happened. That's it. And like, if you didn't have access to like media or whatever, you wouldn't know anyone that's ever been near a shark, probably. So it's like that's I don't know. a crazy thought. Well, yeah, we yeah. have this thing over in Sacramento. I don't know if you know about this. There's a shark sighting website in San Clemente. And every day yeah. they take the helicopter shots and there will be shots of dudes on surfboards, like waiting for a wave and there's fucking sharks shot, like, right underneath them. And they're Fuck, like, man. nobody tells them they just fly over and take pictures. And yeah, mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> it's not for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's super interesting. <clears throat> I don't know if I'd want But I've to seen know. like more dolphins and whales and shit like that in the, in the ocean than I have sharks. So, that's cool. That's, I, you know what though? No, I'm saying I'm saying this and this this really happened. Was, <laughs> I was in the water, and then people was like were like cheering slash screaming, and then I think when they realized it was dolphins, then it became oh, like yeah. it became like cheers, and everyone was all excited. Dude, I got oh, out. Oh yeah, I got out. Get the fuck out of <laughs> You like no, I am. Those, I'm thing, not those things could kill sharks. Imagine what they do to us if, they wanted, if one of them decided to go rogue. <laughs> one of them decided yeah. just just. Choose hate that day. Can you imagine? <laughs> uh, they choose violence, and then that's it. Yeah, man, we're helpless. We're li basically punch it back. <laughs> yeah, just slow motion in the water. 
<laughs> yeah. I feel like you'd be all right with Dolphin as well. I don't know. Maybe an aggressive an aggressive seal or a shark, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize how, how gnarly sea lions and stuff can be too. Like, yeah, man. Have you seen a video of it like, attacking like a kid? Yeah. There's like a video of a sea lion attacking a kid, like right like right on the beach. Oh, shit. I yeah. haven't seen that. that. That sounds brutal. Yeah. It, it's a... Uh, it like it like attacks like a couple people because like people aren't the there's they see it and then the smart ones are like oh this is a freaking big ass animal let's get out of the water stay away yeah, yeah. and then other people are just kind of there just watching it and then it comes over and starts just yeah. crowd killing yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm out mm. <clears throat> yeah mm. well how is uh mm. Like uh, that for you guys, like crowd killing and stuff right now in the US, like it shows, is it, is it a pretty big thing? Uh, or? It depends on the show, I think. Depends on yeah. the show, depends on where you're at too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, our hometown shows nonstop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, it just, it just depends on the show you're at and who's there. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm, I'm shockingly enough, I'm. I'm kind of. I'm, it's not that I'm for it. I'm only not for yeah. it when it's involving people that aren't part of the scene and yeah. that don't know. That's when I. That's yeah. when it sucks. I, I get that. I get that. Yeah. I um, yeah. It's a tough call because I'm all for it. Like, but I feel like just use your brain a little bit because I've ha- I've like stood in front of people and like kicked people away and shit because um, I've been like uh, at um, an all ages show and like. It, they'd been friends bands playing and stuff so I, I was pretty sweet but like um this dude would just like dive into a bunch of girls and start crowd killing so i just grabbed him and i like kicked him away and then he's like turns out one the guy he was there with was like one of the ogs from like one of the first australian like proper beatdown bands and this dude's like unhinged like probably not mentally stable mm-hmm. on fucking steroids and shit like that and he like punched me in the side of the head and he was like, I do what I fucking want. And I was like, man, just use your fucking brain. And then like, luckily my friend on stage was just like, yo, he's cool. Don't just, and he was, I talked to him afterwards and last, like he was explaining, he's like, he's like, no, man, I was telling you not, like I was trying to tell you not to get involved because that dude like gets off on violence. Like Mm, just don't. And I was like, yeah, I probably would have got my head kicked in, but like, Man, just don't be a piece of shit at shows. Like, you're at an all-ages show, like, hitting fucking girls. It's like... And they're just trying to enjoy themselves and have fun, man. Like... Yeah. It's... I don't know. It sort of puts, puts a dampener on the scene. But if you're at, like, you know, a fun show with all your friends, and, you know, it's that cut type of music, then by all means, like, go for <clears> it. Because it's a, it's a pretty touchy topic um over here i guess i guess it kind of probably is over here too but i i think like i said i'm off i'm all for it as long as yeah airlines everyone knows what's up you know what i mean yeah but, but it's like the minute like you said the minute you start going after like you know bunch of girls or even just people that you just know they don't know what they're they, yeah yeah 100 percent. you know i just wish at that point you kind of somebody just be like hey maybe you don't stand right here you know or like you know yeah, hey this yeah. is like this is gonna get pretty <laughs> it's pretty well. no, I think it's more the people that go after like so you get you get the like the kids that hang out in the front rows and they're like just enjoying the band it's more the, the people that go in and disrupt that and try and start like like seriously hitting people not yeah. you know yeah. not like just to fuck around beat down sort of stuff but the, the ones that are like are actually swinging punches it's just like to me I don't like I understand that like you're letting out the aggression and stuff but to want to hit a unsuspecting person and like be happy about it, it it really like rubs me the wrong way, man. Like I'm just like in what, I just don't know how people, I just, it doesn't make sense in my head Yeah, that someone can like run up and punch someone in the back of the head that just doesn't know what's happening and be like, no, that's cool. I just did something really fun. It's like, what? (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm from like the OG, sort of times when you you found your space in the pit or you made your space in the pit and that's where you 
you were washing that's where you stay mm. and then do whatever the fuck you want like and if there's someone comes near you or you know you're in the pit then by all means but I don't know about crowd killing, man. It's weird to me. Yeah. I, I feel like uh, it's it's a bummer, but... To, yeah. To me, I, I the crowd killing thing, it, I think it comes with the territory, especially now. Oh, but yeah. The thing I don't... That I don't fuck with is the dudes that do it just to look for the fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you hit somebody it happens like you, you you kind of know yeah. like when you're coming to these shows like this is this is what we're in for but mm -hmm. at the same yeah, time yeah. like if you're doing it just to like rile somebody up or like trying to get that that fight trying to get somebody to to you know yeah acknowledge and, you that that's when it's a problem and, and it's a bummer <laughs> when you know like when you're in the scene obviously you know like like you you know when someone doesn't know what, like what's what's up right like in and, and yeah, like 100% and like, you know, I've had, I've had friends, you know, that, you know, I'll bring, they come to shows and they want to come the first time and they see, they see people like moshing and stuff and like, they'll be like, oh dude, someone hits me. I'm going to, I'm going to freaking I'm going to knock them out. It's like, yeah, you no. could very easily knock out that one dude, but like that one but dude, the rest of has like all his friends, <laughs> all his friends, like that yep. whole, that whole area, those are all his boys. And I can think of all three guys in. right off the top of my head. Who are this, who yeah. are this person? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It gets it, like that. But, uh, uh it's tough man i hate that it, like i hate that it puts off like new people coming to shows as well sometimes yeah because it's like cool they went to one show and their nose got broken and now they're probably never going to come to a show again so it's like yeah that 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 part of it i i hate Cause, yeah cause, but I, I understand both sides so yeah it's... Mm. so all that to say i'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna crowd kill at your for your set. <laughs> for your set. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hell yeah! yeah right. I'll do the same. I wouldn't make. I wouldn't make it to our set, dude. Pull everything in my body. Just hurt yeah. yourself. Just hurt myself. Yeah, I'd hurt. Yeah, that's how, that's what I would yeah. hurt myself before I hurt anyone else. Yeah, I think that's what would happen to me as well. I was like really gonna uh, focus on my fitness as soon as I got back, and like I still am going to, but like, man getting back in the day after it's like oh you've got bird flu i'm like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Um, better better now uh, than than in a couple of weeks you know yeah oh that's it like that's what i was thinking um mm. i think we're gonna get one more practice in after this so we're gonna make it a good one and i'm just gonna uh, try and start eating healthy <laughs> and get back on my fitness routine but i say that and then everything is gonna get in the way and then you know yeah. It'll be all right. It's all right. We know all about know all about it. All about that. <laughs> yeah. You plan and then it all goes to shit. Yeah, I I actually I was doing I was doing really well. I was like like starting to ramp it up a little bit, and then I got this stupid like. It's funny. I think I I think I finally got COVID, and the one time I didn't yeah. test it just because it was like, it was just I I was like oh this is allergies my allergies are really bad, and then I was yeah. like I'm starting to cough stuff up, and then I started to cough yeah. like pretty hard. And uh, <laughs> so it kind of like kind of uh, set me back a little bit, but I'm hoping uh, I'm yeah. gonna get myself in a good spot that I don't. I just don't want to look old on stage. That's kind of like where I'm at. Right now. <laughs> good luck, dog. I know. <laughs> You'll be all right. But, you know, um, but dude, thanks for up. thanks for coming out and uh, and no, uh, sweet man and chatting with us, man. I'm glad. I'm not. I'm, I'm not glad, glad that you got sick, but I'm glad that yeah. <laughs> we're not we're not keeping you you know no you know. no it's good it's it worked out perfectly <clears throat> yeah man i'm gonna uh work on some more i think we're gonna do a, a new t-shirt for the tour Sick. so i should really get onto that asap otherwise our screen printer is going to be very upset at me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i mm. mean we've got like what two weeks we'll be sweet yeah <laughs> That's cool. dude here's the do the do the do the tour art make it make it <laughs> no, we should actually Dude, I'll buy it. We should. Yeah. I might tell Brandon to be like, yo, put that on a t-shirt and sell it for the tour. Uh, yeah, that'd be sick. But, yeah. yeah. Well, um, do you want to plug your your guys' stuff? Um, yeah, I mean, like, just Spotify proposal or, like, I mean, I'd say YouTube, but it's all through Dreambound. So if you look through, like, proposal, Dreambound, 
you know, we released it all through there. So like, go take a look at our music videos. I think that's the coolest shit we've done is the music videos. Like, I always push the boys. Like, one of them was in the snow, and then the next time I was just like, hey. Let's build a house and then burn the house and then play in the rain in the house. That's sick. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, dude. Go, I'll link you to it. It's, oh, yeah. But I come up with these dumb ideas and I, t I just put it forward to the boys. Like, they're just wild ideas. And I'm like, no, I think we can really do it. And then they're just like, what? And I'm like, no, I'll work it out. Let me just let me just work the logistics out. We're going to build and a house. Do it. We're going to sit on yeah, fire. Yeah, we will yeah, we built like a room. I, I wouldn't say it was a house, but we we built a room and then we lit it on fire while we were inside it. And then you know. <laughs> see, I come up with these ideas, but nobody lets me do them. So yeah, well, you're, you're you lucky. gotta take the reins, man. <laughs> <laughs> take the reins and just do it. That's fucking <laughs> sick. Yeah, but yeah, man. yeah. Other than that, I mean, just our socials. Sick. Um, hell yeah. Mm. Thanks, boys. Well, yeah, kid. Um, I appreciate your time, and I'm really looking forward to actually hanging out with you. Yeah, man. Should be fun. Awesome. We'll, we'll get up to some fun stuff. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to some Japanese spots, too. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, definitely, especially when we got some time, there's some places that I'll, I'll show you guys for sure. Yes. Well, appreciate you, man. Awesome. Fucking no, I appreciate you guys. Take take it easy. Get better. Get Get yourself well. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be resting up because I, I can't afford to be fucking sick for like until this tour comes up. Yeah. Dude, same. Yeah, I didn't miss, yeah. I don't think I missed work. <laughs> My, when I was sick, I like when I, I went in. Oops. Yeah, it's like that. <laughs> oh, well. All right, man. Appreciate your time. Nice to uh, meet you, man. You guys. Take Thank it you easy. So much. Yeah, nice to meet you guys as well. Oh, yeah. All right, Damien. All right, Later, man. Put it back again! No way to handle my aggression!